Good morning, guys. So, <clears throat> this is a new spot for me. Never fished here. Uh, this is a small pond just right here in the city. So, water's really, really murky. I am fishing in a completely new spot today somewhere I've never been before this is just a little pond in between a few houses so you can see it is in a pretty residential area not real sure what's in here if anything even is to be honest but it's about 7 in the morning so not a bad time to start right now just fishing with a uh, little jerk bait that I got on. This water's so cloudy, I don't even know if I'm using the right color. I've got a darker <clears throat> jerk bait with some chartreuse on it. Should be fairly visible. But I figured it'd be a good way to start the day. Just get out, get somewhere new, give it a go. Right now I'm using my Calf King Purgy 2. This is a 7 foot 2 medium action with a fast tip. I like it for scenarios like this because it does give you enough backbone for that hook set, but also gives you a little bit more casting distance in some cases. So the plan is to just kind of Start working the pond here. Wanted to fish something that I could use to kind of just search with. Might even use a few crankbaits. Like I said, I'm not real sure what's here, if anything is. So I want to be able to move on down and work the entire pond been working the section here for a minute and really it's not looking promising I've debated about buying one of those really inexpensive fish finders off Amazon just to be able to throw something out and see if I can't find the fish I don't see how it'd be any different than using the fish finder or depth finder when you're on a boat so So we went ahead and came to a new spot. I'm here at a public park. Shortly after I got started there was somebody who came out and started complaining. So I really didn't want to deal with it. So I just went ahead and left. There's really no reason to get into it with people who live in the areas just because they're the know-it-alls. They know what can and can't happen there. Sometimes it's just better to leave it alone and not even have to jack with it. I'm gonna go ahead and get a popper rigged up. This place actually has a little bit more movement going right now than what the little pond I was at did. So I decided just to go ahead and move on. There was no reason to even sit there and argue with the woman. Even though there was no sign, no anything that says fishing prohibited or anything to that effect, Sometimes you just have those know-it-alls. Better to move on instead of getting into an argument or any kind of altercation. I mean, really, what's, what's going to come of that altercation if you draw attention to yourself? The whole point is to be out here fishing, not arguing with people. So I just decided it was probably best to leave it alone. So I'm at a public park. Um... This is actually a pond I have not been to in quite a while. Just typically because I've never really had a lot of luck, but that could have been due to timing of day as well too. So right now everything looks good. It looks like they're all feeding on the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this popper a try. We'll see how it works out. Or, like I said in some of my videos, always make sure you're tuning your reel to what you're throwing 
now we got something going, but this can still need to be dropped down some. And that's another reason too. Make sure you got plenty of brake applied or you will bird's nest all day long with a bait caster. So take it from me. Don't learn the hard way. The more times you're having to deal with that, the less time you get to spend fishing. So, and always remember, plenty of break is not a bad thing. There we go. This popper actually has a lip on it, so I can fish it like a crankbait, or give a slow reel on top, make sure you pause. Oh, there's one hitting over there. So maybe they're feeding on this side. Water looks pretty clear, so. <laughs> to a Texas rig and uh, what do you know got one sorry about that guys I wasn't really planning to grip this guy but we got one come on dude open up absolutely hammered it but not a bad start all right so I wasn't really planning to catch that one it was Kind of a fluke honestly i was just kind of jacking around with a little texas rig to see what happened and here we are all right so i've actually switched over to my light rod uh, this isn't a medium action this is a light action rod not quite an ultra light but i've got a 2000 or a 2500 series spinning reel on it so I have the Casking Brutus on here. And this is actually a Shakespeare micro series rod. It's a light action, it's seven foot. Didn't want to quite go to a complete crappie rod. I wanted something that I could use a real light, real sensitive. And this works perfect for some of these smaller crankbaits like I'm using. But you can get up to yeah four to ten pound line not too bad i handle some of the weight on these stuff this stuff pretty easily right now i'm using a lipless crankbait it's a shad color just trying to search them out i can see the fish hitting just i'm not having any luck So I went ahead and hooked up that same Texas rig. That's a one-knot hook with a chartreuse fluke. And I think that's like an eighth ounce bullet weight. I have it set up on my light action rod just because I can get some distance with this. But I also just want to have a little bit of a fight on the next one I get just because it'll be fun. It was nice on that medium action rod, but I haven't caught one on this rod yet. So I have this paired with, uh, it's a 30 pound braid to a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. So the line's got plenty of strength. Just the rod is maybe questionable, probably be the best way of saying it. To use for this. 
And when you see the rain, you know it's time to pack it up.